All right. Thanks for telling me about this Cooper's mom and dad. You both may return to the stand. Now I will call Andy and Kelly Smith to please come up to the stand. Thank you. Your Honor. I'm Andy Smith. Tony Smith is my brother, and I'm very disappointed for what he did to Ted and Camila's house when you were with Sonny and Sly Scudder. And I cannot believe, my insane brother Tony Smith helped Sonny and Alice Scudder with their insane punishment day. I saw my brother run their daughters over with his cop car. That could have killed them you know. I agree with my husband Andy, big time. We saw Andy's brother force Justine and Annabelle to drink a whole bottle of vinegar, that stuff tastes very disgusting. Sonny Scudder. I saw you throw a wasp's nest at your daughters and you do not care for all the pain Justine and Annabelle are in. Shame on you. I agree with my wife. I never had a brother, who is capable of doing stuff so bad. So me, my wife, and my two kids who are at the jury stand, guilty. Thank you Andy and Kelly Smith. You may now return to the stand. I will now call Ted and Camilla, who were the people that took care of Justine and Annabelle before being caught by Officer Smith to kindly come up to the stand. Thank you your honor. These are the people that abused their own daughters on purpose, and I mean, every day. Sonny. I saw a video of you forcing Justin and Annabelle to spend the night outside during a snowstorm. No jacket, no winter clothing, you made them wear summer clothes and they were freezing outside. They both had hypothermia, because of your stupid actions. I agree with my husband. I am very angry at the four officers. Mostly Officer Smith. He is the one who broke my door down and destroyed the glass. We will make Officer Smith pay for the damages to our home. I cannot believe his judge would allow child abuse. Literally Vion City is now the most dangerous place for anyone to live. I agree with my wife. I remember getting a call from my brother named Leonardo, who is the hotel manager. He called me that he saw footage of her parents beating up Justin so brutally. Her father beaten her up so hard, that she had black marks all over her face and even paralyzed her so critically. She was injured so badly, that she couldn't even move for a bit. These people are very insane. I agree with my husband. Why are these people like this? Screw her parents for abusing their daughters. And screw the Vion City Police including Officer Smith for siding with her parents and for breaking down my door and screw Judge Brandon for allowing child abuse. And I hope this time, these criminals get sent to jail. Me and my husband plead. Guilty. Thank you for telling us what you saw Ted and Camilla. You both may return to the stand. I will now call the hotel manager, Leonardo to kindly come up to the stand. And tell us whether Sonny and Alice Scudder are guilty or not. Thank you your honor. That's the man that who I saw on the CCTV beating up and abusing his daughter Justine Scudder. I had to ban him and his wife out of the house and take their daughters away. I agree with my brother. Sonny and Alice did abuse their daughters on purpose. I heard you forced Justine and Annabelle to fight in a war in South Sudan you both gave her and Annabelle a punishment day with Officer Mark. Mark Marquez. I saw you force them to eat a hot pepper those things are very hot and can burn your tongue off. My brother never allows child abuse but you do and child abuse is extremely illegal. You guys are mentally ill and strict parents. You know what? I plead guilty for all the crimes you caused. Okay. Thanks for telling me about this Leonardo. You may now return to the stand. I will now call the Hagen Dawes manager Andrew to please come up to the stand. Thank you. Your Honor. This is the man who caused Justine to blow up the mall. I don't care about what Justine did. I believe that it was because of her abusive dad. It's because his dad, Sonny Scudder, who is responsible for the damage at the mall. He wouldn't let her order her favorite flavors, and this includes Belgian chocolate and cookies and cream. He is a strict dad and abuses her daughters. Since the destruction, I called the police on that abusive father so they can arrest him. Guess what they said? They kept saying that Justine should be living a horrible life for some crime she might have committed. No, I don't believe that at all. And this man and his wife who I believe is supposed to be her mother should be arrested for good. Not allow child abuse. Screw Sonny and Alice Scudder. And screw the police. I hope these people get arrested after this trial ends. I'd say he is guilty. All right, Andrew. Thank you for telling us this shocking information. You may return to the stand. Thank you. Your Honor. All right, everyone. All these criminals and child abusers plead not guilty. In favor of Grace the Surgeon, Judge Brandon, Ms. Trenchbull, Justine's teacher and principal Alan Butler and Kate Salomo, Craig the Devil, 
Oscar Rodriguez, the four wanted officers named, Mike Hamilton, Mark Marquez, Simon Hernandez and Tony Smith and Justine's parents named Sonny and Alice Scudder. How does the jury find these people? All right. Now let's get to the sentencing. Oscar Rodriguez. For bullying, harassment, snitching and getting Justine into big trouble at her school, juvenile detention center and at home with her parents. You are sentenced to 15 years at Hampton, Georgia's maximum security juvenile hall. And you will be transferred to Franklin County Prison once you turn 18. And you are required to maintain a 500 feet minimum distance from Justine and Annabelle Scudder at all times. What? Oh no. I cannot believe I got sentenced to 15 years in prison. My parents are going to scold me for what I did. I am very sorry to Justine for what I did in the past. And I should have pleaded guilty for my acts. Well, it's too late for apologies, Oscar. Maybe if you had never bullied or snitched on me in the first place, you could have never ended up in this situation. That's right, Oscar. Maybe if you never bullied Justine in the first place, this would have never happened. Grace the surgeon. For medical malpractice, psychological abuse, supporting child abuse and criminal activity and for unauthorized brain surgery on Justine. You will have a 12-month suspension from being a surgeon for Vion City. And you are sentenced to six months in Franklin County Jail. And this will go into your disciplinary employment transcript. And you will have to take the sensitivity training course in order to be eligible for reinstatement at your job. Oh great. I have six months in prison. Got a 12-month suspension and must do a sensitivity training course to be eligible for reinstatement at my job. Oh well, I will have learned my lesson during my time in jail. I am very sorry for what I did and will learn my lesson once I get out of jail in either August or September of 2024. I better hope so Grace. Because if I get another medical malpractice case or any other crime notice from you, I will provoke your medical license and will serve up to 20 years in prison. Now let's move on to the next criminal. Alan Butler, for bullying your student, being a strict teacher, putting Justine in super long detentions and for supporting and allowing child abuse. You have lost your job as a the first grade teacher for Lincoln Elementary School. And you are sentenced to 20 years at Franklin County Prison. And this will go into your employment disciplinary transcript when you get out of jail. You will also have to maintain a 500-foot distance between you and Justine and Annabelle Scudder at all times. What the? Are you kidding me right now? 20 years? You cannot do this to me. I have been a first grade teacher for Lincoln Elementary since 2017. You can't take my job away. Oh yes I can. Bad people can't be teachers if they abuse and bully their students. Speaking of that. Kate Salomo. For allowing child abuse at your school, being a strict principal, abuse of power and for your involvement in one of Justine's punishment days. You have lost your job as the principal for Lincoln Elementary. You are sentenced to 45 years at the same prison that Mr. Butler will be staying at. No. Are you kidding me right now? 45 years in prison? How is this possible? I can't be in jail for that long. I will die of old age. I have been working for Lincoln Elementary as a principal since 2015. You can't take my life away. Because you allowed child abuse at your school. And you knew about Justine's parents being child abusers. Maybe if you could have helped Justine with her problems at school and her parents. Maybe you would have never been here. Ms. Trenchbull. For psychological abuse, child endangerment. And for putting Justine in the chokey. You will lose your job as a juvenile detention mentor. And you are sentenced to 10 years at Gator Island Prison in Louisiana and will face a permanent restraining order of 500 feet between you and Justine Scudder at all times. What? Are you kidding me right now? You can't do this to me. I have evidence of Justine trying to steal my wallet on my phone. I cannot go to prison. And I have all rights to put Justine in the chokey. Well, Miss Trenchbull, your evidence isn't good enough. It could be because of how abusive you were towards her before you put her in the chokey. Maybe if you could have taught her actual lessons instead of these harmful punishments, you would have faced these consequences. Mike Hamilton. For abuse of power, siding with child abusers, supporting criminal activity and corruption. You have lost your job permanently as a Vion City police officer. And you are sentenced to 50 years at Gator Island Prison. What? 50 years in prison? Oh no. I can't make it to 50 years in prison. I can die of old age before my sentence is up. 
And my parents and girlfriend are going to scold me for this. My life is going to be a living hell because of Justine. Well, that's too bad, Mike. Maybe if you could have just arrested Justine's parents and never been on Sonny and Slice Scudder's side in the first place, you would have never been in prison. Mark Marquez. For psychological abuse, insane punishments, helped her parents with Justine and Annabelle's punishment day, abuse of power, reviving criminals, corruption, support and allowing child abuse and criminal activity, siding with Justine's parents and for tricking Justine and Annabelle into arresting her parents and lying to them. You have permanently lost your job as a police officer for Vion City Police. And you are sentenced to 65 years at Gator Island Prison alongside with Officer Mike. What? 65 years in prison? You can't do this to me. I have been a police for 20 years since 2004, and I have all rights to abuse Justine and Annabelle and give her a punishment day. I will die of old age before the 65 years are up, and Brother Cole Marquez is going to yell at me when he sees me in prison. Well, good. This is what you get for allowing child abuse, giving Justine and Annabelle a punishment day, and for being a bad police officer. If you could have helped them with their problems and arrested her parents at the hotel, you would have never been in this situation. Tony Smith. For violating protocol, abuse of power, corruption, destruction of property, unlawful entry, giving Justine and Annabelle a punishment day, insane punishments, allowing and supporting child abuse and for siding with Justine's parents. You have lost your job as a Vion City police officer. And you are sentenced to 75 years at the same prison officers Mike and Mark will be staying at. What? You can't do this to me. I have all rights to punish Justine and her parents with their ninth punishment day. And I have been a police officer since 2021. My girlfriend is also going to scold me just like with Officer Mike when she sees me in jail. Well that's too bad Officer Smith. And that's not how police officers work. Maybe if you could have left Justine and Annabelle alone at her new family's house, never sided with Sonny and Alice Scudder and arrested those child abusers. You would have never been in this situation. Simon Hernandez. For allowing and supporting child abuse, gave Justine a punishment day, psychological abuse, corruption, abuse of power, siding with Justine's parents and for causing a child abuse fiasco by reviving Justine's parents and making them red and evil parents, you have permanently lost your job as a Vion City police officer, and you are sentenced to life in prison without parole at Gator Island Prison. What? Oh no 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 no. I cannot spend the rest of my life in prison. I have been an officer for Vion City since 2007. You can't give my life away. Well that's too bad. Life's not fair, your actions have consequences, maybe if you haven't revived Justine's parents and made them red and evil in the first place, you would have never be in this situation. Judge Brandon. For supporting criminal activity, allowing child abuse, abuse of power and for corrupting the police. You have lost your job as a judge for Vion City. And you are sentenced to life without parole at Gator Island Prison. What? Life imprisonment. This is not fair. Justine should be the one to be arrested. She did so many terrible crimes in Vion City. And I've been a judge since 2001. You cannot take my job and my life away. Well, that's too bad. You were the mastermind behind the Vion City police scandal and Justine Scudder child abuse case this entire time with Sonny and Alice Scudder. Maybe if you haven't been behind all of this, then you would have ended up here. Craig the Devil. For reviving Justine's parents three times, one time at a hotel, another one in October of 2023, and a third time in at Sudan. You are sentenced to the secret room. Oh, what's the secret room? You will find out once we get our next visitor, but let's get back to the court. And, no surprise here, last but not least, the two evil masterminds behind the child abuse case, Sonny and Alice Scudder, for corrupting the police, violent punishments, both physical and psychological abuse, assault and battery, child abuse, child endangerment by forcing Justine and Annabelle to participate in a war in South Sudan, child neglect by forcing your daughters to freeze outside in a snowstorm, giving your daughters 10 punishment days in a row, abused Vion logic by turning Justine into a kid after being demoted, paralyzed Justine at the hotel, insane punishments and for abusing your daughter Justine on purpose. You, leave, me, no, choice. Despite your very high criminal records. You, are, both, Sentenced to death in one of the worst ways possible, and it is far worse than the electric chair. What do you mean by that? Oh, I will show you all right. 
and I wonder where Alejandro Mora is at. Oh goody. Here he comes.